right, so here we are. So today we're going to talk about regenerative medicine, uh, and I'm going to try to elucidate some of the things that you guys want to be thinking about, because if you want to live to 120, like Jean Calment, you're going to have to do a lot more right, because she does, did not live in the same world that you live in. So I do want to announce a conflict of interest I have with this talk, and that is nature. Uh, I, use, I use her as the guiding, uh, the guiding force of my practice because just like Nikola Tesla said, if you want to know the secrets of the universe, look no further than energy, frequency, and vibration. And although, this is kind of bleached out a little bit, but although this picture shows a sunrise and a tree, we don't see the photons of light. We don't see the growth of the tree that literally happens when light energy and CO2 combine and form wood out of thin air. We don't think like that, but we see the beauty in this picture. But don't forget that there's a world of stuff happening underneath it. So this is not Gene Calment, but what, what is our goal? What are we trying to accomplish? Do we want to be ripped and muscular? Uh, I'm sure some of our speakers today would not go for the aesthetic look here. I think a little too wrinkly, although sometimes we think wrinkly is cute in dogs. But, you know, being pumped, being wrinkled, these, are these the things that we're trying to avoid or get? Uh, I know that I don't see the centenarians, the people that live to over 100, I don't see them looking like this sort of body. And so we have to maybe reframe what our goal is for longevity. Uh, what type of body do we want? You know, the idea of beauty changes over the years, but we want something that's going to last, function, form that lasts. And so that, that should be our goal, I think, moving forward. So the journey I'm going to take you on is the construction of a human that's going to last for 100 years or so. Uh, I say reconstruction because we were born perfect. We, we're just ruining these meat suits that we live in, so we get a chance to hopefully build it better now that we know. So I'll be the architect today. Again, my name is Josh Rosenthal. I'm a holistic sleep and regenerative specialist, uh, and I focus on mitochondrial and circadian therapies. And I know a few things about uh, reconstructing human because that's what uh, medical residency did to me. It destroyed my hormone panels, uh, my health and my happiness. And so uh, I had to do a few things to reconstruct myself as well as my clients and, and patients. And so when you're looking at regenerative technology, something that's going to help your body uh, clean up, fix, be better, you know, depending upon where you're at, if you're doing it just from a wellness standpoint, if you have disease, you, know, you want to know about the blueprints. So we're using this whole idea of building a new you. So what are the blueprints? Where did the blueprints come from? Are they your blueprints? Are they somebody else's? So the sources of the materials that are used and the technologies that you use should be considered. Are they coming from a lab? Are they coming from a human? Which human? Is it your, your material or is it somebody else's material? Where was it harvested from? If it's you, you want to know where they're going to be harvesting the materials to use in your body. You know, are they drilling a, a, a hole in your hip? Are they taking fat? Are they using materials from your own body? So you have to understand the idea of the blueprint. Um, when a syringe comes at you, What's in the syringe? Where did it come from? You should be considering these. 